Welcome back folks for another fun reloading video. Today we're going to be playing with some of our 2020 Get Loaded Bullets from Hornady. We have the 115 grain XTP. Since these are supposed to be a high speed defensive round in order to initiate that expansion you need, the powders I have on hand, long shot gives us our highest velocity by quite a margin. And then we're also going to be using our new Unis Genix primers. I've never used these before, so we're going to test those out and see how they do to the uh, max charge or the plus p load that we've been able to find here's a nice look at those 115 grain hollow points these are 355 diameter and they didn't come in the normal packaging they came in the box that's usually in the packaging or sorry they came in the bag that's usually in the box but um here in the note it says in order to expedite your order it doesn't come with the packaging so suck it yeah normally i think they would come in something about this size and that's what the normal box looks like. But in order to, you know, save on costs and catch up from two years of back orders and all that stuff they're dealing with, we get them in a bag with a nice note. So anyways, here's our long shot. You probably saw it in the 357 SIG video. It's a flat, flaky, sort of a ball, but more flattened. It's really dense for how much uh, room it takes up. And today we're going to be using 5.9 grains. Here's a look at our Bosnian primers. Wow, those actually look really nice. The only thing I have read about these is that they might be sort of hard, but I've also heard that there's no issues at all. And if you if you can get them, they're cheap and they work, so why not? So I first said we were gonna be using 5.9 grains. We're at about 5.93 with a 10 throw average. And we are throwing our powder out of our Dillon 550C. But first, before we start dumping any powder into cases, we first have to prime them. I'm going to be doing another project after this, so I'm going to load up all 100 primers here. And yes, we are using our high-speed tactical match-grade MTM primer flip tray here. Because we are making some of Bubba's pissing hot hand loads, they should be hitting 1,200 feet per second, which should be pretty respectable for this 115 grain here. Come on. There we go. Real quick before we get started, here's our dummy round. It's seated at 1.075. And today we're only doing a load workup to function test the gun and make sure we don't blow anything up. So we're only loading 10 rounds. So let's get going here. Here's our first prime case. It's seated just perfectly and everything looks fine. Make sure to look into your case there and see if we got our powder to dump, which we did. And then we'll get that seated there. So there we are with our case still flared, and now we just have to crimp that to tighten it up, and we will be 
There we are at 1073, which is close enough. Give her the old plunk test. This is my wife's three inch barrel for her Springfield Hellcat. And it looks like everything is good to go. I'm gonna do the rest of these real quick and I'll see you in a minute. That one felt like it was crimped. Ooh, that's ugly. We got some powder flakes stuck on the old uh, ram there to prime it. Has a little indention and it is sticking out just a hair, but I'm gonna reseat it and we should be just fine. We'll give it a turn. There we go. And we are seated flush, but we're not pretty. We've cleared any debris and we shall move on. This is our last one we're gonna size. And now just two more bullets to seat. One more. And crimp the final piece. Beautiful. One more thing, we'll just finally plunk the rest of them in and out real quick to make sure we're all good. And then we're gonna try and hit the range here soon. And hopefully, we'll be able to get some good groups here. Here we are, 10 for 10. There you have it, folks. We've got our 10 test loads all ready to go. We've got a 5.9 grains of long shot with our Unis Genix small pistol primers and our Hornady 115 grain XTP. Thank you so much for hanging out and spending your time here. If you enjoy this sort of content, feel free to subscribe to the channel. Make sure to stay tuned for the range report. We will see you in the next video. Have a good one.